Quiet on set. Cue CJ. Hey guys, CJ with Roswell Astronomy here out of Roswell, Georgia. And today we're going to talk about this Explore Scientific 102 carbon fiber. So this of course is the Explore Scientific ED102CF triplet APO refractor. 102 meaning 102 millimeter and CF being carbon fiber. What does carbon fiber mean? It means lighter weight. Now this is not the new FCD100 series which was just released this year. Uh, this is the, the uh, model just previous to that which is now gone. However, you can still find these out online uh, you may find one or two brand new ones at a distributor, and you can certainly find uh, uh, silver refurbs uh, as people have, have uh, traded these in for the new FCD 100s. Uh, if you want to know more about the FCD 100 glass, go to Explore Scientific's website, and uh, they will give you all the numbers as, as far as uh, uh, the, the graphs and everything of how much light it allows through and what the purity of the light is or something of that nature. To me, what does it mean? It simply means that the new scope is about five to $600 more in list price as compared to the original models, but you can still find these out. So to start off with, this is roughly a four inch aperture. It has a focal ratio of F7. Your focal length is 714 millimeters and it does have EMD optical coatings on the glass. Your limited stellar magnitude is going to be 12.5 and your total weight of the scope only, your OTA only, is going to be about 7 pounds. Now of course that doesn't include any additions that you've put on there, i.e. like your, uh, your rings, your dovetails, uh, Lismondi bars, or aftermarket focus. It does come st uh, standard new with the 2 inch diagonal as you see here, which includes the carbon fiber ins inserts on each side of it in order to match your scope, which is a very nice touch. It also comes standard stock with a 10 to 1 Crayford style dual focuser, which you see here. Again, good quality, all steel, with the exception of those two screws, which are plastic. Also comes standard with the uh, uh, dovetail cradle, uh, but again, does not come with a Lismondi bar. Just has a simple mounting bar on the bottom, Vixen style, and then the handle on the top. Uh, overall length of it is going to be 26 inches, with your dual shield uh, retracted is going to be 23 inches. It does of course come with a, uh, a cover for your glass. That is a little bit loose that's on there. However, if you extend your shield out just up to the end of it, it'll prevent it from being knocked off uh, when you're taking your scope in and out of your bag or out of your case, depending on how you're carrying it. One of the things I do really like about this is that the dew shield on it is very stiff which I would rather have stiff than loose. I've had uh, loose dew shields and uh, they have a tendency to slide back on you, uh, especially when you're pointing, you know, absolutely 90 degrees up into the sky and it sucks when your dew shield goes whoop right back down. But this is a nice stout dew shield. Other people I've talked to have also experienced the same thing. They like the fact that the dew shield is nice and uh, taut or uh, firm. It doesn't slide back easily which is a nice feature. Uh, again, I've replaced my original 10 inch with a moonlight focuser with a stepper motor uh, for automation purposes. Put a Lismondi bar on the bottom and did a Lismondi dovetail on the top for my guide scope. What do I not like about this thing? Well, let's go back to the focuser real quick. Uh, plastic screws. Guys, come on, seriously, plastic screws. Nobody in their right mind trusts plastic screws anymore. They're not, uh, they're they not gonna help metal. you. 
the other thing I didn't like about this scope are the saddle rings. Um, they're cheap, they look cheap, uh, they're not quality in my opinion, um, they're pitted uh, from the molding, uh, they're not smooth as you would see even on uh, you know some manufacturers that are even considered to be less quality than Explorer Scientific have better rings. Um, to me that's just ridiculous. The knobs, the plastic knobs on them seem cheap uh, and, and fragile if nothing else and the actual bolts that are attached are uh, to me undersized and, uh, and cheap as well. So what's the main advantage of a carbon fiber OTA? Well, weight, obviously that's gonna be your number one factor. So it gives you the ability to put larger aperture on a smaller amount and you're not maxing yourself out. Uh, what I can say though is uh, I appreciate the fact that it is a lighter weight uh, for me and even though I do have a 60 pound capacity on my CEM60, um, I like the fact that I'm not taxing it by, by having a 20 pound OTA on there not to mention whatever extra gear I have as well. So uh, be on the lookout, look out on the websites and stuff if you're interested in, in carbon fiber. Uh, you can still find these used and you can still find a, a new one here or there every now and then. So keep your eyes open. And uh, I guess we'll do more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Clear skies.